clienti, consumatori, dipendenti, fornitori, contesto sociale e contesto ambientale in cui operano. Parlare quindi oggi di sostenibilità non significa solo riflettere sul, sull'impatto ambientale della propria attività, ma significa eh, assicurarsi che lungo tutti gli anelli della propria filiera, per i propri partner commerciali, ci sia l'opportunità di generare valore. A partire da questo concetto noi abbiamo commissionato a TNS un sondaggio esclusivo che è inedito per l'Italia, molto interessante credo, eh, fatto su un campione significativo di manager dell'area vendite dell'industria e dell'area acquisti della distribuzione che hanno proprio indicato, a partire dalla sostenibilità, quali possono essere i terreni i punti caldi su cui industria e distribuzione possono lavorare per collaborare meglio insieme, per crescere di più e per creare valore. Eh, questi saranno poi degli spunti che noi approfondiremo nel corso della tavola rotonda che abbiamo organizzato, a quale abbiamo invitato importanti esponenti del mondo dell'industria e della distribuzione, ma mh, per farvi toccare con mano eh, quali sono i risultati che una relazione virtuosa con i propri partner commerciali può produrre abbiamo pensato di aprire il nostro convegno con una case history una case history di eccellenza su questo fronte abbiamo deciso di guardare oltre confine per aggiungere anche un contributo che arrivasse dall'estero alla nostra discussione e l'abbiamo trovato in questo caso in corso per cui abbiamo, tra l'altro siamo riusciti eh, abbiamo il piacere e l'onore di avere oggi qui con noi Gary Cozzen, che è Vice President della Catina Americana. Siamo riusciti ad averlo grazie anche al, all'impegno e al, al contributo di Antonio Ceglie, che è amministratore delegato di Fiera di Parma, e di Fausto Armonti, di, della Ceglie Organization. E, ehm, quindi vi ringrazio particolarmente per aver reso possibile questa cosa e, e invito Gary Cozzen a eh, illustrarci la sua case history. Grazie. Uh, good morning everybody. Uh, I have two questions. The first question is how many people in the state of English in the room? Many. Good. The second question is how many are Costco members? Not too many. So hopefully after today we will have more members. Uh, my name once again is Gary Cotton and uh, I'm with Costco Wholesale. I've been with Costco for uh, 25 years and uh, I've had the privilege of being able to grow up with the industry and it's been a very, very interesting career. Uh, I do have uh, two associates in the room over here. I see them sitting on the far side. I'm from our Northern California uh, regional office. Uh, so I'm sure they will be getting around and speaking to many of you uh, in your booths. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to start off a minute, first talk about Costco a little bit so you get an understanding of who we are. I think there a lot of people who know who Costco is, but there are a number of people here who don't know. And then we'll talk about some sourcing and the way that we, uh, we go to market when we source globally. So, very, very basically, our uh, mission statement is uh, to continually provide our members with the highest quality goods and services at the lowest possible price. Very simple. We have a strict code of ethics, and uh, the first one, obviously, is to obey the law. We do business in many countries, and uh, that doesn't mean that we will not challenge the law if we think the law is old or doesn't make any sense. Uh, we take care of our members, uh, we take care of our employees, they're very, very important to us. We respect our vendors, because without vendors we are nothing. And uh, if we do all of those things, then we reward our shareholders, we're a public company. So Costco today, uh, we have sales of about close to $73 billion in the last 12 months. Our average, average sales per location is $131 million. And that allows us, through those efficiencies, obviously, to drive, uh, to drive prices down through our efficient systems. Uh, the average location is about 142,000 square feet. And that would be a little more than 14,000 square meters. And we have 147 employees worldwide. And we do about 1.4 million transactions per day. Uh, our membership base is very important. Uh, we have 28.7 million households. 
uh, they have Costco cards. That means that there are about 52.6 million people with a Costco card in their wallet, and I see there are some in the audience today, which is good. We renew our membership on an annual basis at about 85%, and we believe that to be a very, very good number, um, and we're very happy with that number. And those membership fees generate about $1.5 billion in cash fees every year. So we have uh, about 500, we have exactly 567 warehouses worldwide. 414 of those locations are in the US. We have 77 in Canada, 21 in the UK. We've been in the UK since 1990. Uh, 32 in Mexico, seven in Korea, six in Taiwan, Nine in Japan, we opened our Japan uh, office in 1999, and we see great potential there, and we just opened our first location in Australia. So typically, this is what a Costco looks like inside. This particular location is uh, Docklands, Australia. This is the uh, latest one that we opened. Uh, very, very busy. This location will do $120 million in its first year. But you can see, just basic concrete floors, we merchandise in steel, and we display in ready to, ready to, uh, to shop in pallets. So uh, the system is very, very efficient. Uh, our locations vary widely in terms of geography and culture. Uh, this is Colorado Springs West. We opened this location uh, in October of last year, and you see the beautiful uh, mountains in the background. In contrast, this is a location in Busan, Korea, which we opened in July of last year in a very densely populated uh, area. And uh, we have shopping on multiple floors and parking on multiple floors as well to accommodate all the merchandise that we need. And this is uh, Cabo San Lucas. You can uh, have a wonderful vacation and shop at Costco and uh, enjoy the beautiful view. So inside of Costco, once again, very, very simple displays. Uh, we sell all kinds of merchandise, everything from hard lines to soft lines to food. Uh, and this is an example of television sets. Last year we sold about $2.2 billion in uh, television sets. Our unit sales were up about 45%, but because of the inflationary uh, nature of this category, obviously our sales were not up that much. Uh, diamonds, uh, we sell close to 80,000 carats. Only the produce department sells more carrots uh, in this particular department. But uh, you can see some of the some of the uh, diamonds that we have sold the size and over eight carrots for two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars, and then another set of diamond earrings for uh, over ten carrots for two hundred and one thousand, and then um, a seven carat uh, flat diamond.